Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24 7 here with 24 7 Fusion Media. This article was sent to me by my boy, King of the Wrenches, Chris Persia himself, King Wrench. And just want to tell him, yo, thank you, Chris. I appreciate you for that. But what he brought to my attention was from the Hollywood Reporter Marvel's Blade movie finds its writer in Watchmen Scribe exclusive. <laughs> so basically this is the chick that wrote the Watchmen show for HBO Max that horrible horrible show and now she's going to be writing the new Blade series so how you like that shit right Stacey Oseka 4 a New York playwright who moved to Los Angeles will pen the project that has Oscar winner Mahershala Ali attached to star. Marvel Studios Blade the Vampire Slayer feature has found its writer. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. So all that woke shit in the Watchmen. You best believe that shit's going to be in Blade. So yeah, sink your teeth into that shit, right? Stacy Oseka Four, playwright who acted as story editor and writer on HBO's acclaimed limited series Watchmen, has been tapped to pen the script for the feature reboot of Marvel's vampire hunting franchise. She will be the first black woman scribe to write a Marvel movie. Nia DaCosta, working on Captain Marvel 2, is Marvel's first black woman director. Mahershala Ali, who won an Oscar for his performance in Green Book, is attached to star as the horror hero. Plans for a new incarnation of the character played by Wesley Snipes in a string of movies in the early 2000s were revealed during Marvel's sense-shattering presentation of 2019 San Diego Comic-Con. Yeah, I remember that shit. The studio has spent the last six months meeting with writers in what was described as a meticulous search with all directly involved, only black writers were seriously considered. What? Wow, that's fucked up. You know, um, you know, that's interesting because the way they have it in Marvel and shit, I'm not sure, I think it might be like that over at DC also, is that. Only white writers can write white characters. Only black writers can write black characters. And then they have gay men writing for gay characters because they had, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a gay man writing for the Iceman uh, comic series. And, you know, that's, that's the way these people are thinking nowadays. And now, there you have it, right here. So you telling me that a white man can't, can't write a black character? Or a black man can't write a white character? It's, all that is bullshit. You know, the same way you, you, know, you have, uh, you, know, this, you know, this white voice actor that doesn't even want to be Cleveland Brown no more. So now they have to have a black kid come in to fucking fill in to do the voice of Cleveland Brown. Like fuck, man. It's it's bullshit. It's supposed to be who is best for the job. And the whole thing with voice acting, that's a whole nother deal altogether. People can't even fucking see who you are. All you're doing is voicing the character. That that makes it even more pathetic. That's some bullshit. But that's how Hollywood is, and you've seen it right before your eyes with this article. Bunch of bullshit. So again, only black writers were seriously considered a reflection of Marvel's focus on diversity and making representation a key factor. Shit sounds racist. Especially when tackling non-white characters. You know, people just gotta understand, man. If, if you're good just writing a story, then you're just good writing a story. Doesn't matter if the, black, if the characters are black or white or Indian or, or Asian or European or, in, you know, it doesn't matter. None of that shit matters. And I'll tell you, all black people 
can't write the best stories for black people. Doesn't give a fuck what they've been through. It's all about the storytelling. People are more worried about who's writing the story than the story itself. Man, this shit is so ass backwards, but this is the same kind of bullshit here. David Goyer wrote the three original Blade movies released by New Line between 1998 and 2004. Okay, created as a supporting character by Marv Wolfman and Gene Colan, Blade first appeared in Tomb of Dracula number 10 in 1973, becoming a cult favorite. He is a human vampire hybrid thanks to his mother being bitten and killed by a bloodsucker during childbirth. Oseka 4 earned an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Writing in the Comedy Series for her work in Hulu's Pen 15. I never even heard of that shit. But it was being part of the team, but it was but it was being part of the writing team on Watchmen HBO's heady spin on Alan Moore, Dave Gibbons comic that got her noticed, as well as a WGA award win for best new series. Oh please. Nobody gives a fuck about that. She worked on Hunters, Amazon's blood soaked limited series that saw Al Pacino and Logan Lerman as Nazi hunters in nineteen seventies America. An HBO crime thriller run starring Don Hall Gleason. Okay. Despite her seemingly rapid as, uh, ascent to Hollywood, Chicago born Oseka Four spent years writing plays and poetry. She has a master's degree in the former from Hunter College in New York, but struggled to find work as a writer. Her jump from story editor and now a Marvel movie and breaking a barrier while doing so makes for quite a Cinderella story. Oh, please. All right, so what do y'all what do y'all think about this this bullshit? Um me just the fact uh, I don't care that she's a black woman doesn't care that, you know, she's a woman at all. None of that shit matters. Her credentials, what she wrote, what shows, all that all that old extra shit, I don't care. I don't care about that. The fact that she's already done a superhero property as the Watchmen HBO Max TV show. We already seen what she can do. The shit was woke and it was trash. That's all. All that other shit doesn't even fucking matter. That she's the first to do this, to do that. So? Can she write a good story? That's all I give a fuck about. And for what I've seen, nah, she can't. So now you're going to take... Her wax story writing skills and putting that shit to blade. Now what? Get more of the same bullshit, but now with a, a different face and a different property. So now she just she goes from DC to fucking Marvel. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, there you have it. So get ready for some whack ass blade bullshit. <laughs> Cause you know what? If you if you did the Watchmen like that, ain't no telling what you're gonna do with Blade. So, like I say. All I can do is go off of what we've seen. And from what I've seen, this motherfucker get two thumbs down. So that's my that's my opinion. I hear yours. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this shit in the comment section below. Did you like the Watchmen series? Are you looking forward to checking what she's going to bring, you know, uh, those skills all, <laughs> all the way to Blade? Are you looking forward to the Blade movie or series or whatever she's going to do? Like I said, y'all let me know in the comment section below. Please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media, and I'm out. Peace.